Hello and welcome to my home. My name is Jackie and I have a box. Let me show you this box. I am very excited about this box. So I had purchased some perfume from Mercari, not Mercari, excuse me, Macy's, and I got some rewards points. So I used those points because you only have 30 days after you earn the points to use points. So I used the points and yeah, this is a brand new bag to me. Um, not used, not pre-loved, but still loved because I picked it out. Um, and it's in this giant Macy's box. It's a big bag, guys. I am very excited to get this. I saw this a few months ago, or as soon as it came out, really. And I clocked it. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. And I'm like, nah, it's a little too expensive for what it is. I'm not going to get it. And then it went on sale for one day. Or at least, you know how Macy's does. They have these lowest price of the season sales. And they have one day sales. And they have flash sales. And then they just have regular sales. And then finally at some point they have, this is the last sale because we're getting rid of it sale. Um, so you just have to wait around with Macy's. I've watched numbers go up and down, up and down. So this is not wrapped. There's no wrapping on this. This is literally how it came. This is, this is... Not the best look, Macy's, but let me show you what I got. Um, wow, they just dumped that in there, didn't they? Look at this. This came right off of the showroom floor, I feel, because there's no packaging whatsoever. Um, so this is a tote bag, and I love this tote bag. Now, I bought this tote bag specifically for some things I want to do to it. Um, I really like the pocket. So if you guys watched the Louis Vuitton, you know, runway show a while back, there was one that had a bag with a bunch of pockets. I was like, and then Steve Mann came out with this bag. I'm like, I see you, Steve. You know, Steve is the OG when it comes to that's a great look. Let's see if we can do something like it. That they they are the they are the king. Um, you like a shoe? You like a bag? Um, I'm sure they'll they'll have one that looks like it. Um, but this is the Steve Madden. This is my second Steve Madden bag that's in denim. I'm pulling off the um, stickers because, you know, stickers are not good for hardware. They're good for not scratching hardware, but they're not good to keep on hardware. So this bag originally sells for $128. It's a little expensive for a denim bag, but it's branded Steve Madden. It's a beautiful bag. There's nothing wrong with it. It has Steve Mann back here. I like the colors of the washes of the different denims. And the whole reason I bought this bag was to put Disney pins on it. And we're going to do that right now. So I went on a cruise to the Disney, as you all know, and I got a bunch of pins. And I knew that I was going to have to have a new place to put these pins. So I knew when this bag what came up for sale, I'm like, that's the bag I need. So I'm going to pull these pin backs off and I am going to start putting this bag together so I can show you how I create my perfect ideal bag because I love Disney pins. And I showed this to a few other Disney collectors like, hey, look, instead of just having pins in a book um, or a folio or just a display piece, I wanted to use them. Now, there is, you do run the risk of losing a pin back once in a while, which means you might lose a pin. So I buy locking pin backs, which I need to figure out where I put them. I think I see them right there. And um, But even with the locking pin backs, they can come undone. So that's why I wanted this bag specifically um, when I saw it, because I'm like, I bet I could use that. And I'm always looking for a fabric bag to do this with, guys. Um, to use my my true my to display my true love of Disney. Um, so this top portion has a bit of interfacing inside of it. So there's a bit of cardboard. I can feel the cardboard in here. So this might not be the best place to put pins, although that's where I wanted to put the pins. But down here, there's a little bit of a lining, um, and it's really good to use pockets to put pin placement because then the back of the pin is nestled where it's not going to abrade and pull off. And I'm going to show you the pin backs I, I'm using, um, which are right here. So these are locking pin backs. There's different 
types of locking pin backs. This is just one version variation. They don't sell these particular ones. If you go to the Disney stores or Disney merchandise places, they'll have different types. And I've had those types. It comes like a little L wrench and you kind of lock them in, but I don't think they work as well. That's why I don't have them. So this is one of my favorite pins ever. This is Donald Duck. We're going to put Donald right here. See, I have no intention of ever actually using... I should have put him on the bottom. Um, so I'm going to put him right there. And we start placing them. I don't actually intend to ever actually use these pockets for anything. I never did. They're, they're decorative. They're decorative pockets, guys. I mean, yes, they're functional pockets. But for me, when I saw this bag, I'm like, I can use that for my pins. And that is exactly what I'm doing. So the thing you have to worry about with pin placement is if the fabric is too thick it won't lock appropriately in the back and then it also could come undone so this is the what the back of the pin looks like and this is what it's going to look like just flapped open i probably won't even try to um snap it because i just want it to lay open so i have i have that one and i have dumbo let's put maybe put dumbo over here and i'll probably move these pins around guys i'm not I am totally all about putting things where I want them. Like, I might actually put this one over here because I like the color. Um, good contrast. So this is a Minnie and Mickey Vacation Club um, pin. James and I are part of the Disney Vacation Club. Proud members. And we love the Disney Vacation Club. It is, a, 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 for us, the best thing we probably have ever done. Financially, really the smartest thing we've ever done. But... On a personal level, best thing we've ever done, you know. So not everything has to be about finances, right? You can make the choices just because you like something. So I'm going to put these other guys over here. So what I have here, this is going to be Sailor, Mickey, and Minnie, and I have Pluto. And I love Pluto. Pluto's my favorite. Well, okay, you're going to hear the word my favorite a lot because my favorite is Donald, Daisy, Pluto, Minnie, and Mickey. Those are my favorite. Um, those are my favorite Disney characters. I'm a Disney character and friends person more than a um, princess person. Now, now because Disney owns um, Star Wars, I, I have to say I, I do love Miss Leia. Princess Leia is the best princess. I, I, I will say that. Um, but... Um, in general, I'm not a huge princess fan. I don't collect the princess pins. I don't actually... I've watched all the movies, guys. I don't think there's a movie Disney's made that I have not seen at some point in my life. My favorite movie is Fantasia, which I've said a million times. Um, and I, my dad used to watch it with us. It's one of the very few things he would watch with us. Because he doesn't really do cartoons or movies in general. He was not really a movie person he liked black and white movies so he he's of that generation he he my father was born in 1938 guys he's no longer in life and he lived to be 80 so he was a little on the old school side i was born in 1979 and um it is the way it is and i am now 44 turning 45 this year and i'm happy to be turning 45 this year and yes i am wearing cartoons i sport disney i love the brand i am gonna be wearing this until i can't wear anything um until my death probably i will be wearing um disney stuff like this is my cool hat i got on the cruise so and this neat thing about this hat guys is this hat actually in here says uh, designed by Ashley Eckerstein and Bert Irwin. Um, so it has the name of the designers, and it says Disney Cruise Line. So I got this on the cruise, and it says Sail Away, Captain Mickey, Captain Minnie. Um, and it's Disney Cruise Line on the, in the red. So I thought that was really cool. So, yes, I literally bought this bag solely to display my love of Disney pins. So over here I have the Disney Vacation Club. I have my favorite Donald. This is um, Miss Minnie, Mr. Mickey, and Pluto. We love Pluto. And I have some more pins. I need to grab them from my other bag. So when I was on the cruise itself, I used a particular bag, this one right here. 
And I have some pins on here I'm going to use. These pins right here, I'm going to pull them off. So I have an extra Donald because, you know, we had two Donalds. I was very... This is a pin set that you could collect. Um, and I got the... Donald, I'm actually going to put Dumbo on this card. So this this one is Mickey and Minnie with with um, Pluto, and it says Disney Cruise Line. Let me see if I can get that to focus and not glare. Okay, it's glaring. This is a very pretty pin. So I'm going to put this this Dumbo pin on this on this um. So as I told y'all, I'll change things out a hundred times. So I like putting pins on things. I like having pins displaying stuff. So it's just the way it is. I like to use the things I love. And I find excuses to, to use the things I love. I'm just switching out the, the rubber backs with the better locking backs. So I'm putting these two portholes up here. So in the in the on the boat you could pick uh these are sets sold as mystery pin sets and you could get and it was a whole collection and they get the porthole character so i have um donald and i have dumbo and i have another donald and i had captain minnie and it turns out there was another collector on the boat who we we're on the facebook group together um because when you go on a cruise like this you can join a facebook group and about the cruise, you know, and people normally set them up and somebody had set this up and the Facebook cruise group, this person says, Hey, did anybody collect these pins? I'm missing Captain Minnie out of my collection. Um, and I'm like, girl, yes, I got Captain Minnie. And I only, I didn't care either way about Captain Minnie. What I was trying to get was the Sorcerer's Apprentice um, in from Fantasia. And she had that. She had an extra. So she was able, we were able to do a swap, but because we didn't meet each other on the boat, we met each other, you know, outside of the boat, like on the, on the Facebook after, after the cruise, after the fact, um, I mailed hers, she mailed mine and she lives in the same state as me. And, and guys, she lives in the state. My grandparents, she lives in the town my grandparents used to live in. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I know exactly where you're at. I says, I used to go there all the time for summers. And my grandparents used to live off such and such street and, and such and such street. And for a while we lived in, you know, I went to school at this school, blah, 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 you know. And it's, it's you know, it's a fun place to be. She says she loved raising her kids there, but, you know, um... It's not the same as it used to be, guys. Well, actually, that was a different friend. I have a couple friends in that area, but it was fun. She goes, you, she, she, and her daughter collects all the princesses, um, and they collect the pins. And I was showing her, hey, this is what I do with my pins. And she's like, oh my goodness, I have to do that. Like, yeah. So it's like, so I'm always looking for a canvas bag, a fabric bag, a denim bag because I love denim bags. You know, it's me if it's a denim bag. Um, my husband does not enjoy denim bags. That's fine. He doesn't have to. Um, I can enjoy them for him. So I'm going to put this one up here. Let's see how this is going to work. And I'm going to show you my masterpiece. And I'm absolutely going to use this bag tomorrow. And um, I have, this makes me so happy, guys, to have this type of joy to show something I love like this and get to use them and, and display them and use something like a handbag, which I love anyway, and then to show my other love, which is Disney. I mean, look at that. So we took a cruise on the Disney Magic, and that's the Disney Magic. Um, and this is the Disney Cruise Line pin. This is the Disney Vacation Cruise Line pin. This is, you know, Donald. I have Minnie and Mickey and Pluto. So other than having Daisy on here, I have all my faves. This is pretty cool. So now I'm going to have to find Daisy. Hmm. I didn't think about that. And this is my favorite Donald because I like Donald kind of grumpy face because he's grumpy, guys. He's Donald. So this bag is a awesome tote. It has a great arm drop. So it goes like that. It's going to wear really well. If I wanted to, I could probably add some grommets to this and then add a crossbody if I wanted to because this is an awfully large tote. Um, it does have two front pockets on the front wall. It has a zipper pocket on the back wall with the Steve Madden um, 
branding on the inside and, and the lining has the branding it's just a, you know just a pocket it's a nylon type of so the exterior is is blue jean denim guys and the interior is probably polyurethane it does have a firm ish bottom there is a interface in here um it's not like it's not super stiff but it's going to be able to hold some weight without a problem so this is a fabulous bag um that i was able to pick up on macy's on sale using macy's points and able to um use this cool trendy-ish looking bag and i am going to use this bag for years and i will probably add more pins to it because that is what i do guys thank you so much for watching my video have a great day and um have a magical day. Bye.